Hello to all the YouTubers up there. I'm Bob from Tactic SG, and today we are going to unbox and do a mini review on the Core R3 530 from Intel. Basically, you start from as you can see, this is the Core i3. There's also other variants such as the Core i5 and the Core i7. With the Core i3, it's uh, more on uh, perhaps uh, entry level, but it can be also a mainstream product, but an uh, entry mainstream product, something like that. But uh, for the cost, you'll know that it actually outperforms other processors on the market and it's actually um, works pretty well for the price uh, that you're getting it with. So uh, the frequency is at 2.93 GHz and with 2.93 GHz, there's also uh, 4 threads. This is a dual core processor with 4 threads. So you're Com your computer actually notice it at, as uh, maybe 4 cores on the Windows Task Manager and a cache of 4 megabytes. This is socket 1156, LGA 1156 and let's say uh, the launch, this was actually released uh, much earlier in the first quarter of this year and and let's unbox the box right, uh, unbox it uh, one more thing to take note that actually this does do your integrated graphics that means you actually need not now on the new 1156 platform there's actually the 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 VGA that's provided on the motherboard is actually not from the chipset itself but from the processor so your processor does need to be Compatible with the motherboard so that you can use the VGA or your uh, DVI from the motherboard itself to use onboard graphics. But if you want that something that is uh, a lot better, don't use the onboard graphics. Go for something like N from NVIDIA or ATI. So over here we have the Core i3 530, 1156, 1156 pins at the back, and we have the stock heatsink uh, fan. If you are going for some mild overclocking, I recommend you to actually get a better cooler of Sucker 1156. There's actually thermal paste in, uh, applied on the heatsink fan already. Heatsink fan. Next, we have the Core R3 case batch on the user guide. Installation instructions, 3 years limited warranty and Intel inside logo label. Yep. So the more information about the graphics on the processor is that it runs on 733 megahertz. That's the integrated on die graphics chip. As well, it also supports dual display and other features from Intel such as uh, Intel to uh, Intel Hyper Threading, which is uh, what you get for four threads and 64-bit compatible as well as uh, enhanced Intel speed step technology which is EIST to take note that this does not support Intel Turbo Boost so it only stays at 2.93 GHz and thank you for viewing uh, a little review on my side I would think that this processor is just great for the value if you are fixing up a home theater PC or even your normal computing Need such as uh, web browsing, web processing. Actually, the uh, these days the processor is actually too powerful for your normal basic needs. So you need all you need is just some something simple that will actually meet your requirements. So this definitely fits into uh, the 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 category of a cheap processor, and it's definitely a good upgrade if you are using uh, using a Pentium dual core because of hyper threading technology, and. I hope that you actually can try this processor out if you get the chance to and thank you for viewing this video.